how to sell digital products on shopify hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can start selling your digital products on shopify so let's get into it now to get started with shopify simply go on over to shopify.com and then click on start free trial on the top right this will enable you to answer a couple of questions or you can just skip these and directly move to their sign up process. So you can sign up by your email address or your Google, Facebook, Apple or, or Facebook or Google account. So you have a bunch of different options to sign up. Just select whatever you want and then just enter your details and you will be able to sign up. Once you have signed up, this will be your dashboard. So this is your basic dashboard. I'm first going to give you guys a basic overview of Shopify. Then I'm going to move forward to how you are supposed to create your digital product and a few limitations, then how you're supposed to upload these onto Shopify. So first off, this is Shopify's basic homepage. Then on the left side, you will find your homepage, orders, products, customers, content, analysis, marketing, and discounts. Then you have your online store. So setting up your online store is probably going to be the most difficult part. So we're just going to go through it first. So first off, you're going to click on this and you will have a theme. Now, this is a password protected website. So you can click on uh, pick a plan over here and remove password protection off of your website. If you have, you know, finished setting it up, if you're just setting it up. You can leave it as password protected, but uh, just to get, you know, everything you need to start a store this is like the basic version of shopify starts at one dollar you're literally paying just one dollar to set up your online store and to accept payments and you only get a 0.5 percent transaction fee so this is what you have to do to get your website to be launched online and you can just click on choose basic over here and once you click on choose basic, you can just choose the plan and you're going to confirm your billing cycle and that is it. So uh, once you do that, you can just uh, go on ahead and click on customize and customize the theme that you have. So this is our basic theme and you can begin adding your own stuff. So on the top, you have your store name and it says my store over here. So you're just going to click on it and you can see the header, you can see everything and uh, you don't edit like usually you do this with wix and it goes away but over here it's a little different so you have to edit everything in the left section so in the left section we're going to go into our announcement bar you're going to edit it from there then you have your header in your header you're going to click on default logo you're going to click on change you can click on remove and remove the pre-existing logo then you have your main menu drop down uh, you know store names all that so we're just going to select a logo images or free images like this so you can choose any kind of logo image that you want that is totally up to you but i'm just going to go on ahead and inverse this now after that i'm just going to click on select image and you can upload your own logo i'm just doing this as a sample now below that we have our image banner and if i click on the image banner you can see you have your second image and we can upload whatever we want uh, over here in our image banner so like this as a sample i'm just adding this image below that you have your basic stuff then you have your text so you can just click on your text over here and you will find it on the left side so you're going to double click and after that, you're going to click on the bottom text and from the left side of your screen, you can begin editing that. I'm just going to remove it. So remove block. Now below that, I have featured collection, all that stuff. So I really don't need it. I can just remove it like so because I don't need it for this store because we're just focusing on digital products. I want to show you guys how to set that up, not this other stuff. So after that, I can just click on after the home page, I can go into the second page. So on the top, you have your products and you can see I have no products currently. So it's going to be empty. I have product collections, collection list, all that. The checkout and all that is already pre-built in Shopify theme. So you don't have to worry about this. Just set up the appearance of your Shopify store. Once you've done that, I'm just going to exit it. And now we're just going to enter our product. So I'm going to click on product and even with digital products you're supposed to create categories because it makes it easier for your customers your customers find it easier to navigate uh to find what they want so i'm just going to click on my products click on add your product and let's say that i have a baby announcement frame and then you can add a description 
adding a basic description then you're not going to add media but just scroll down and you will be able to see shipping in your shipping section you're going to select digital product or service now after that you can uh, begin uploading media so you're just going to upload whatever your digital product is and you can choose to upload a link you can choose to upload you know your canva link so let's say this is the product that i created so what i like to do is i like to click on share and click on template link over here click on copy and what you're going to do is within this template we're just going to go into our text and i just like to put in some text or just take the product link go into your shopify product and uh you're just going to click on this click on your download download the image first so so just uploading a sample image so after that you're just going to uh click on over here so we're going to click on save and then your first product will be added now uh the thing with this is that once a person has purchased the product you want to be automatically given the product so uh what i like to do is once i've added the media i've added all of that stuff so i like to put in the price then i'm just going to remove that and then you're going to click on over here so once you've added your product and you know everything is saved i just like to save this first now once i've done that i like to go into my shopify search bar click on apps and you're just going to search for digital downloads and you will find this application over here this is the shopify uh, application to sell digital downloads so you're going to click on add app now you can actually send the link to the template directly but this is like a more professional way to do it the way you should do it so just integrate this application once you have integrated the digital downloads application now you will be able to see this is your digital download item now once you do that you're going to click on add file and you're going to upload the link or whatever it is you can just go on ahead and create a word doc so i'm just going to create a word doc and paste the link to the canva design template save this and now i'm going to add the file in this so i'm just going to open this over here and now i'm going to click on publish now what this does is that once someone purchases the item this file will automatically be sent to them and they will be able to access it you don't have you know any lag time in between and people can easily purchase digital products off of your shopify store so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video